Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We start with the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent, the most kind. However, we translate those names that ar-Rahman, the universally merciful, and ar-Rahim, the particularly merciful. Among the mercies that Allah has manifested unto us is that He's made us insan. He's made us insan, and insan we translate as mankind, man, but where it comes from, this difference of opinion, whether insan comes from nasiya, to forget. In our nature of insan is to forget. Or if it comes from uns, if it comes from intimacy, sociability. And both of those things are found in insan, that we are consistently forgetful and we seek sociability, we seek intimacy with others. And so among the mercies that Allah has manifested unto us is that He has given us this desire to be with others, to have suhba, to have positive companionship. And had it not been for this companionship, had Allah not given us this, we would have found ourselves constricted to find ourselves left to our to, to find ourselves to our own devices to ourselves with no support from from one another, with no means to show love to one another and to receive love from one another, with no means to show other the other generosity and no means to receive generosity from others. We would not have seen and had an example of others to remind us of where we are deficient and seen the deficiencies of others to remind ourselves where we need to improve ourselves and where we need to seek Allah's protection from other defi deficiencies that we see in others. And we, we don't see deficiencies in others except that we first know that it's in ourselves, that we don't see ostentation, showing off, except that we recognize it that first this is a quality that can be inside me. And on the other hand, we don't see generosity in someone else and appreciate it except that we realize that that is perhaps something that we could do. And so that we love generosity from others and we despise ostentation or arrogance or these lowly qualities, these lowly traits in others. And we know that the Prophet said, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيهم حتى يحب لأخيهم يحب لنفسي that none of you truly believe until you love for your love for your brother until he loves from his, for his brother what he loves for himself. And so we love the sociability for ourselves. We like good company and we like to receive the benefits of good company. But do, we often don't recognize that perhaps our company is not beneficial or good for others. And so in this light, Imam Abu Hassan al-Shadri rahimahullah ta'ala, one of the great scholars of the tradition says, لا تصحب إلا من تكون, إلا من تكون فيه أربعة خصال. Don't have companionship with anyone except that they have four traits in them. الجود من القلة Generosity in paucity. When there's little. When there's little and that person is still generous, that's a beautiful quality. Number one, that quality. Don't have companionship of anyone except that they have that quality in them. And then number two, وَصَفْحُ عَنِ الْمَظْلَمَةِ And to have and to pardon or overlook iniquity, oppression. When your rights are trampled, Someone who, who overlooks the, those, those, those occurrences, that's a beautiful quality. That forgiveness that people have for others. وَصَبْرُ عَلَى الْبَرِيَّةِ And patience during tribulations. Patience when calamity strikes. That they're not people who complain. Something wrong is something's wrong in their life, and then all of a sudden it's a bunch of complaints. Nobody likes hearing complaints. Right? We complain to people, either people don't like hearing our complaints, or they might find themselves a bit comforted that their love, that their situation is better than yours. So they're comfortable with your pain, with your complaint. And the situation. Or there's nothing they can do about it. And they sit there and listen. Our complaint is towards Allah. And then the fourth quality. الرضا بالقضية 
contentment with the divine decree. And these, these, these last two go in hand in hand. Patience with patience with, with, uh, with tribulations and contentment, pleasure with the divine decree that whatever Allah did, He did and I'm not going to complain about it. Alhamdulillah, that's what Allah manifests and I'm, and I'm content with that. And so these four things, the point of this is not for us to look onto others and see where are people missing these four qualities. The point of these is that if we search for these four qualities in others, if we want to find it in others, we should fi first find it in ourselves. That we like to find generosity in others. We like to find pardon when we make mistakes from others. We don't like hearing complaints. We like when people are patient with us. And we like when people are content with us. Or content with the decree of Allah. That we don't like their complaints. But if we want that for ourselves, then we should love the same thing for our brother and for our sister, that the other should receive the same sort of pardoning, that same sort of forgiveness, that same, you know, the overlooking, the same generosity, that jud, right, that munificence, that, 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 that generosity that's, that, that comes from, from when somebody asks you, and, you, and there's, there's several types of generosity, you can give someone and can ask you, and you might say, okay, I can give you. Or somebody can ask you and your, your face could be beaming with joy and you're happy to give. And so this, we might tell ourselves, is a bit difficult on the, on, on, the, on the ego. A bit difficult on the nafs. A bit difficult on the self, right? That somebody steps on your toes and to overlook that. Or somebody asks you for something and then you, then you, then you want to, to depart with it is difficult. That we see it as our... We see it as our uh, as our um, as our property when someone asks, and we say, "Okay, I'm doing this person a favor by giving them, right?" Or when we have patience, we see that as as some sort of trait that it takes from our from our ego to have that patience, or to be content even when things don't go the way we want. And so we might complain and say, "Yeah, those things are good, but it's difficult on the self." And if then that's the concern, then the portion for the self is that if there is jud, if there is generosity with others, Allah shows generosity to us on the day when we need the generosity most. On the last day, when we're standing in front of Allah, and we know that the deeds we've come with, and we know the quality that we put into our deeds and the intentions we had behind our deeds, when we need that generosity most, when we know that those deeds, number one, were created by Allah, that He allowed us to do those deeds, and then He's buying them back at a price higher than they're worth. On that day, we need that generosity of Allah, so we show generosity with others. And then we find ourselves receiving that generosity on that day. Similarly, when we overlook the, 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 when we overlook the iniquity of others, when people overstep their bounds or step on our toes, when we look over that from others, that Allah overlooks on the day of judgment when we're, when we're more in need of overlooking. That a few rights, a few, a, a few comforts in the dunya, if somebody calls you something that, that you don't like to be called, if somebody bumps into you, or so on and so forth, whatever you can imagine, wherever it may be where there's some sort of iniquity occurring, if we overlook that, and say this is for what for, for the for the for the sake of Allah. I'm, I'm I'm overlooking that because this is what Allah loves. Then the day of judgment for ourselves, we find that Allah pardons the things that Allah didn't love that we did, the times that we transgressed against Allah when we had iniquity against Allah, when we oppressed ourselves against Allah. Then Allah overlooks that. And patient when we're patient with people here then that patience that we see with the Allah, as sabur the most patient, who is patient with our, with our wrongs and our transgressions time and time again and gave us chance over and over again to correct ourselves and forgave and overlooked. Then that, when we need that patience for those transgressions, it will manifest on that day. And then the ridha, 
the contentment or pleasure when there is no pleasure that can save us except the pleasure of Allah on that day then the pleasure of so and so and this person and that person won't do anything that if we please, we please that person and this person but we didn't please Allah then we didn't recognize that Wallahu Rasuluhu wa an yardaw that Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have more right to be pleased on that day then that Allah's pleasure, that pleasure we need the most that pleasure will be shown to us so if these four traits of companionship, of good suhbah if, it, if we find it difficult on ourselves and, we, and it's difficult for our ego difficult for our, for our lower selves, for our souls to, to, to do these four things then we should remember that there's something in it for us as well so long as it's coupled with the sincerity that, that is sought from us أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم رساء المسلمين يا قوم استغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم this is the, the four traits that we look for in other people and we seek protection from the harms of the opposite of these four from people taking us into account when we do something wrong from people being stingy with us from people being impatient with us, from people being displeased with us, un in content, uncontent with us. Again, the point of this is not to look to others and see what can I, what, what do I need to look for for good companionship. The point is how do I become a good companion of others. That Allah has placed me on this earth amongst other people and we're going to be around other people whether, whether it's our families or our co-workers or our friends, whoever it is, you're going to be around other people. <coughs> And if we're not able to make ourselves good companions, if we're not able to find good, to find the quality of, of good suhba, the, the, to be the sources of good suhba for others, then it's hard to expect that others be good suhba to us. And our iman is not complete until we're good suhba to others, because we love to be good suhba, good companionship for others. But until we, uh, we love that others be good companions to us, but until we are good companions to others, our Iman is incomplete. As the Prophet Sam said, as we mentioned earlier, that, that, that nobody truly believes. Their faith is incomplete. The belief is there, but the faith is incomplete. It's not perfect faith. There's many a hadith like this, right? That none of you truly believe until such and such and so and such and such and so and so. The common hadith, there's many of them. But amongst this, that, that amongst these hadith, that is integral to, the, to, to us being insan, being so, the social animal, the animal that, that is social with others, that is inter, integral to that, is to, is to become good companions of others. So that when, when, when there is no companion, and there is no, no one, there's no sahib, there's no bani, there's no ummihi wa abi, there's no, there's no companion, there's no children, there's no there's no mother, there's no father on that day that the only person who can be our sahib is Allah Azza wa Jal the only person who can look over us and the only companionship that we look forward to is Allah Azza wa Jal and then that companionship manifests itself to us if we were good companions here so may Allah make us people of positive sahbah may Allah make us the people who are, who are generous and receive generosity may Allah make us the people who see ourselves as protecting others from our harms when we distance ourselves from others, rather than other than being protecting ourselves from the harms of others. May Allah make the people who have who have pardoning and forgiveness for others so that we receive his pardoning and his forgiveness, both in the dunya and the akhirah. May Allah make us the people who have sabab, so that we have his ma'iyya, that we have the proximity of Allah. Inna Allah sabirin May Allah make us the people who have that sabr so that we are we are counted amongst the sabirin. So that Allah is with us in the dunya and in the akhirah. May Allah make us the people who are of rida, so that we enter into His paradise with complete pleasure and contentment. When Allah says, well, inshallah, say to us, Ya ayyatuhannasun mutma'inna, 
irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyya. O tranquil soul, return to your Lord, both pleased and pleased, pleasing. Fadkhuni fi ibadi wa dkhuni jannati. And enter into my, the ranks of my my servants. And enter my paradise. So may Allah make the people who enter both pleased and pleasing. May Allah make the people who recognize these character traits in ourselves. May Allah make the people who look for these traits in ourselves before we look for it in others. May Allah make the people who have patience upon the commandments and the prohibitions that Allah has given us. May Allah make the people who have no source of peace other than through Him. So we say, Allahumma antas salam. ومنك السلام تبارك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام حينا وانتنا دار السلام ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وفي هذا النار ربنا هدنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قوة تعيني وجعلنا من تقين إماما يا الله make us people who are grateful for our teachers particularly our first teachers our parents we say رب الحمد لله ما رب يعني صغيرا رب الحمد لله ما رب يعني صغيرا رب الحمد لله ما رب يعني صغيرا رب الحمد لله ما رب ما رب يعني صغيرا رب الحمد لله ما رب يعني صغيرا إن يا الله الله سب appreciation سب benedictions and salutations on the first teacher, the teacher of all teachers, our Prophet Sallallahu and Allah says, Inna Allah wa malaikta yusalluna ala al-Nabi Ya ayuhal ladhina amunu sallu alayhi wa sallim taslima Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahli Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala azwaji Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahbabi Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ansari Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala atba'i Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ummati Sayyidina Muhammad wa barik wa sallim wa salli alayhi Inna Allah ya'mur bin adi wa l-ihsani wa ita'i bin qurba wa yanha alin fahshai wa al-munti wa al-bali ya'idukum na'alakum tadakkarun Uthkur Allah, he uthkur from remember Allah, he'll remember you. Wada'u, he has to give it up from Allah, he'll answer you. Wada'u, he'll answer you. Wada'u, he'll answer you. Wada'u, he'll answer you. Wada'u, he'll answer you.